Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about ICOs, that is initial coin offering. Now to understand this definition, let us take an example because I know this definition is a little bit technical and you might not get this definition. So let me give you an example to understand this definition. Let's say uh, you go to a bakery shop, okay? It, this bakery shop consists of some delicious pastries and cake and you find one of those pastries and one of those you know cake and you're okay i need to buy this particular cake it looks delicious to me so you went to this bakery shop and you said to the owner okay i want to buy this pastry and you provided him with the money but this bakery shop owner said no i cannot directly provide you this cake if you want to buy this cake you need to buy some tokens from me and then you need to go to the cake counter in order to get this cake. So instead directly providing you with the cake, this bakery shop owner provided you with some tokens. Now these tokens are something which you can use in order to buy anything from this bakery shop. Okay. So this bakery shop, this owner gave you these tokens. He said that okay with the help of this token you can buy anything from my shop you can go to the you can go to a specific counter let's say if you want to go to buy a cake you have to go to the cake counter if you want to buy a pastry you have to go to the pastry counter and you can use these tokens in order to buy this cake and you said okay that's good and you and you give you provided the money to the bakery shop owner and bakery shop owner provide you with this tokens and you use these tokens in order to buy this particular cake now, if you will see in this example, these coins that you are seeing right on your screen, these coins are basically known as tokens. Okay. And you might have uh, gone to a bakery shop like this, right? You might have gone to. So if we will go back to the definition, tokens are a type of cryptocurrency that represents an asset. So if you will see, if you will look closely, these coins, these tokens are actually representing a particular asset and that asset is cake in this example right so tokens are uh, are a type of cryptocurrency so are based they are also basically a type of cryptocurrency represent an asset in this case as i said these tokens this physical world tokens are actually representing this cake or specific use okay we will talk about it and resides on their blockchain means every blockchain has its own token like if we talk about Ethereum, Ethereum has ERT, ERC20 token, okay, Solana will have its own token, so every blockchain will have its own token, okay, so this is the whole definition, this tokens definition, I think now clear, right, that tokens are a type of cryptocurrency that represent an asset, so remember this line, that tokens are nothing but, these are cryptocurrency that are representing some asset, okay, now if this definition is clear, let us talk about ICOs, now let us talk about initial coin offering, now, before talking about initial coin offering, let us understand what are basically IPOs. So IPOs are something that uh, if you might have heard this term in the stock market. So let us understand that so that it will be much easy to understand what basically took ICOs are. So, okay. So we have Jeff Bezos. Okay. So we have Jeff Bezos invested some amount of capital to Amazon, right? Now, when he invested this amount of capital into Amazon, because Amazon, as you all know, is a business, right? Amazon provided Zeb Bezos with some shares, right? Because let's say in the starting, Zeb Bezos owned the whole Amazon. So he has all the shares of Amazon, right? And how Amazon make profit? Amazon makes profit by providing service and products, right? To the consumers. And in return, Amazon gets some profit. So this is how Amazon makes money, right? Now Zeb Bezos thought, okay, this is good, but I need some more capital. I need some more capital so that, you know, I can grow my business at 10x speed. So what he did, he launched an IPO. Now in this IPO, anybody can invest and like invest to the Amazon. So these people, these people who are, you know, part of the general public, they will provide some cash to Amazon because Jeb Bezos needed some cash, right? In order to expand uh, the Amazon business. So they will provide him some cash, meaning they will provide some cash to the Amazon. And in return, Amazon will provide them with some shares. Now, what are the, what are the benefits of the share? So in like when Amazon will give the shares to these shareholders, so these shareholders will have a say according to the 
number of shares they hold right so if someone is holding some let's say for example 40 percent of the shares of this amazon so he will be giving you know he will be having much more authority over the shareholders who have only 30 percent or let's say 20 percent stake in amazon right because he owns much more shares of amazon because he has provided more cash to amazon right so this makes sense right so this is how an ipo works okay this is how a company makes some money so that it can expand and these people who have invested some money to the amazon they have some shares so that they have you know some rights over amazon as well as whatever profit amazon will make they will have their own shares now let us talk about an ico now icos works exactly the same as an ipo the only difference is that icos are much more faster because they do not require any kind of paperwork or the paperwork that will be, that is required is minimal no legal procedures no huge documentations nothing is required you can launch an ico right now as well so it is so easy while if you talk about an ipo you need a lot of legal procedures re required it takes you know around one year to two years even to launch an i to, to launch an ipo or even more also because a lot of regulation is there a lot of you know legal documents a lot of formalities are there but if we talk about an ico ico does not require any of these things they are very simple they are very easy to launch so if we talk about an ISO, an iso works so again let us say that Jeff Bezos is thinking to launch his business amazon now instead of receiving some shares what he will receive will be some tokens so as we discussed that tokens represent some asset right and in this case tokens are representing amazon okay now again how amazon will make profit against service and products and then by you know selling these service and products amazon will make some profit now again zebazos thought okay i need some you know money so that i can expand my business so what zebazos will do he will launch an ico again people will come provide cash to amazon that zebazos expand his business and in return these users these people these people who are investing their cash to this amazon they will receive some tokens now with the help of these tokens these people again will make some profit whenever amazon will make profit they will make some profit and definitely when amazon will make some loss they will also have those losses right because they are actually you know investing to this amazon for the betterment of amazon so if amazon is going in loss will also experience loss in terms of tokens so tokens value will start decreasing if amazon will be not working properly and again since they will have tokens they will own tokens so they will also have some rights over uh, you know amazon uh, big decisions like say amazon is thinking to launch one more business or amazon is thinking to launch one product so the people who will be owning these tokens right so they will have some voting rights and they will also decide whether the whether a particular product should be launched by amazon or not or whether a, a you know particular services should be provided by amazon or not all these decisions will also go to go through these people as well because they have invested their money and they also have some tokens so they will also have authority right in order to say something whenever amazon is taking some major decision so this is what an ico is all about simple right just like an ipo the only difference is it is very fast no complex procedures no legal documentation and everything definitely if there are no legal documentation it is so easy chances are high that you know ico is a scam so you have to be very very much careful whenever you are investing in an ico or chances are high that you get conned okay because ico as i said right there are no legal documentations there are no legal procedures so anybody from their home can launch an ico so you have to be very 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 much careful whenever you are investing in an ico okay always read the white paper documentation provided by the company before investing in any kind of icos so i hope you like this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel if you want to connect you can connect with me on instagram i am available there and if you want to join our blockchain developer community links are given in the description you can join the discord blockchain developer community you are most welcome and if you have any doubts please do not forget to comment below this video i'm active here and i will definitely try to answer your query so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye